Hi folks, it's good to be with you and love to everybody out there. I uh, just want to give my tribute to R.C. Sproul. Um, he's a Reformed theologian who passed away a few days ago. And I just want to give my tribute uh, to R.C. Over uh, 30 years now, uh, I've been uh, a Reformed uh, Calvinist. I was converted by reading Charles Spurgeon's uh, sermons and also by Dr. Martin Lloyd-Jones. And uh, be, being converted through reading those books, I um, soon came into Reformed theology. And right early on, in those early days, I came across R.C. Uh, Sproul, or, um, his website, Legionnaire Ministries. And the website, over the years, has been an absolute uh, blessing to me. The reason being is, in an age of insanity, uh, R.C.'s website and his ministry was a place of sanity. I remember going to theological seminary, and uh, it was supposed to be evangelical, and it wasn't. It became liberal. And I had a lot of intellectual questions that I needed to answer as I was doing my essays. And R.C.'s ministry was a tremendous help. His series on holiness was really helped me when I was at seminary. Um, it, they, they were just packed with exalting the glory of God in a seminary that, that had lost a sense of the glory of God. Uh, R.C.'s uh, lectures on um, the history of philosophy uh, were a, an immense help to me thinking through issues when I was at seminary. And over the years when I've had pastoral issues to deal with, when I've struggled with issues in my own life, I remember once I was struggling uh, in my own life some years ago with uh, depression and a few other issues and I was going through a really difficult time and I formed uh, the staff of Legionnaire Ministries uh, a number of years ago. And uh, the staff were, were, one of the staff who I talked to was tremendously helpful, tremendously caring. And that's a credit to RC's leadership and a credit to, to uh, Legionnaire Ministries. I can't even begin to put in words um, the magazine that R.C. has done, uh, did. Um, over the years, I would uh, read that magazine, Table Talk. Many good articles in there, and many, many times I've gone to that magazine and I've read it, and it's just built me up. And uh, always biblical, always current. But I think for me, the, the abiding th memories and, and significance for my life is that R.C. combined scholarship with being biblical, but his Calvinism was not dry and hard, but it had a very loving, humble, gentle side. And I found that a balm. I found that a comfort, I found that an inspiration, I found that a, a, a strength in my life over the years. That I, I could always go to Legionnaire Ministries' website, listen to RC's lectures and know that I'm going to get the best scholarship. Know that it's going to be biblical. But also know that it comes with warmth and it comes with love. So I'm very, very sad I'll miss R.C. I never met him personally, but he had a big impact in my life. In his ministry, in his teaching, in his website, in his books. And I'll, I'll miss him greatly. And uh, I, I, can't, I can't say... He had a wonderful sense of humour. Uh, very down to worth very gracious with other Christians um, and faithful to the Word of God 
and he was just a an all right guy really and um yeah I'll, I'll miss him and i'm sure many many people around the world will miss him but he's with the lord uh he's in glory and uh, his family will miss him but we'll pray for his family but yeah i just want to share that rc sprue had a big 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 influence in my life and uh, he'll be sorely missed uh, for me. But I'll always continue to go to Legionnaire Ministries' website uh, and plunder the rich, rich resources that they have. They have wonderful resources there, and they they do an amazing ministry. And so God bless to all the people at Legionnaire Ministries and all the staff, and uh, may God continue to give you strength and continue the legacy that R.C. left you. Continue to stand up for biblical Christianity. To do it with the scholarship. To do it with being biblical. And to do it with the grace and the love that R.C. did it with. And uh, keep going because you're needed at this time. Uh, to do to continue that legacy and that work. God bless you all. Remember, preach the word in season and out of season. Because in these dark days, people don't want to know the word of God. God bless you. Amen.